So let's begin by cleaning up modules. If I click down to modules, I'll open up the modules tool in Canvas. By default, it's also set to be the course homepage, but we're going to be changing that in a different tutorial um, to be a page in Canvas because entering here at the modules tool isn't a very welcoming, visually um, appealing place for students nor is it super clear where I'm supposed to go or what I'm supposed to do with all of this long list of links, right? So let's begin by cleaning up our modules and then in a different video, we'll show you how you can create a home page that's a bit more welcoming than what we're seeing here. Canvas, upon importing a Blackboard course, creates a module for the home page. Essentially, and here's the page, here's the, the course that we brought over. So it created a module for this welcome. It created a module for student orientation and tutorials. It created a module for the syllabus folder. So it created modules for all of the folders. It also created modules like the assessments uh, content area, the assignments content area, web links. We'll see a module in there for web links. So anything that was a folder in Blackboard or a content area in Blackboard is now a module in Canvas, and we don't necessarily want that, um, especially because some of these things um, are going to be no longer necessary. So right off the bat, anything that um, that mentions Blackboard can be removed. So we can go ahead and click on the three dots, and you'll see the Remove button. You're just removing them from the module. Actually, this same thing, the Student Orientation and Tutorials, is very Blackboard specific. So we'll be getting some more um, information from District on what the new versions of these are. But for now, we can remove those. We've got an empty module. So really, I could have just deleted the whole module and it would have deleted everything inside of it. I'm going to delete that course homepage module as well. Um, I'm going to create a page called course homepage that has a welcome on it. I'm not going to include that as part of my modules, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And that'll delete the welcome that's in there. Remember, Syllabus was a folder over in Blackboard that had, in the case of this course that I imported, Syllabus, uh, two links to the Syllabus and some other links in there. I think it's actually maybe more appropriate to rename this module to be called something like Getting Started. or these are things that maybe would belong in an orientation module. Um, but for now, we'll call it something like getting started. And I'm going to go ahead and the 24-7 help desk is different now. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove the resources. This is different. I don't want that copyright message in there. Um, so I can decide what to put in my getting started module. Um, maybe I want to put a link to my schedule, maybe other handouts or other things that I want students to have quick access to. Notice I've got empty modules in here to get rid of. So I'm going to go through and any module that's empty came from an empty folder in Blackboard. And so I'm going to go and delete all of these empty folders. Sorry, empty modules. All right, now I've got my actual modules. So these were learning modules over in Blackboard and I'm pulling them up over on Blackboard. So here's where those names came from. There's week one, and it's got a page, an assignment, assignment, and a quiz. So that's what I should see in here. A page, an assignment, and an assignment, and a quiz. So each of those appear to have come over. So just scroll through those and make sure that those are all there. We'll likely find more here at the bottom. I think that need to be deleted. Here's the web links folder from the course menu. I'm going to delete that. And class gallery was also a folder on the course menu in Blackboard. I'm going to delete that. Here's that resources and handouts. So maybe this would more appropriately fit at the top. I'm going to drag and drop this up here to the top and link it into getting started. So with uh, these Canvas modules, you can drag and drop stuff from one module into another. And then we can delete this guy. Okay, so we're just going to keep it simple. We've got one module with some getting started resources, and then we'll have weekly 
modules that came over from Blackboard. Knowing that I can make my edits, I can add new things to my modules, and even if it's new files that I need to add, I can go out and upload new files this way. Also, because I don't want students to see all of these modules at once when they first log in, um, remember the green check mark means that stuff is published. So if I just wanted to keep getting started published and week one published, I could go through and unpublish the stuff in the other modules so that students won't be seeing it on this tool. Okay, now when students visit the modules tool, they'll only see getting started and week one. When you're ready for them to see week two, you can hit the publish button for week two. And if you need to rename these modules, as I do in my case, then you go into the little options button and you hit edit, and there's your opportunity to rename modules. So here I could put in my fall dates if I wanted, so I could put August 20th if I wanted, but I think in this case I'll just remove the dates altogether. So another thing to check in your modules is to make sure that everything you want to be seen by students inside the module is indeed published. So this timed assignment hadn't been published and was not shown to students, but I wanted it to be. And so then I clicked that publish button in order to release it or show it to students. Another thing as you're cleaning up your modules is that you'll see old dates in here from that Blackboard import file. This is an assignment. So I should be able to change the due date of that assignment to update any of these dates. Same thing for this assignment, same thing for this quiz. In order to do that, you just click on the link to the assignment and then you hit edit. Now you're in the assignment settings and you should be able to find there's that due date that can be updated. Certainly that's not everything that you need to know about Canvas modules, but it's a good start to help you begin cleaning up. Remember to also make use of student view. So on the home page, you'll see that student view button. Let's click that. And I can see then the modules tool as my students see it. In this course, I really want to clean up the course navigation menu. Students don't need to see links to all of these tools when I'm not using several of them. So I'll do that in the next cleanup video. Thanks for watching.